the sincerity and the friendliness and the openness of the Dominican people. So I really mean it when I say that the Dominican Republic is open for business and we welcome not only your investments, but your ideas and your dreams. Thank you again to all of you for participating here in this NANO, coming down to the Dominican Republic. Thank you, uh, all the organizers, uh, particularly Betty, Maria Waleska, having put this uh, event here together. We certainly appreciate your work uh, with the government. Uh, Todd and Josh, we also want to thank you. We want to thank everybody here and wish you that you have the most enjoyable and productive meetings in the Dominican Republic. Definitely not a banana republic, but a bright and friendly country that welcomes you. Thank you all, and have a great morning. Thank you very much. Uh, Betty's going to go first because she's going to give you a little something. It's going to be pretty. Uh, thank you very much to uh, Eddie Martinez, uh, Betty Burke from Mayor. They're picking on me already. Again, welcome everyone this morning. I hope you enjoyed the newcomers' breakfast. We will have refreshments throughout the day in the uh, mezzanine area here in the La Fiesta, and it's where the, the food going forward will be found, even though some of our afternoon sessions are back up by registration. Um, again, it has been a wonderful experience for us at Merit to be able to work with the NANOG Program Committee, the Steering Committee, um, and certainly Maria, Terramar, and the government to bring this meeting here. It uh, was two years in the making. I was here two years ago on a pre-site visit and was just amazed at the growth and the potential for taking NANOG the first time outside of North America to the Dominican Republic. And it's, it's truly been a rewarding experience for me personally. And as you've been invited, I hope that you really, really do expand your horizons and network with the operators here in the area, which is certainly one of the uh, main reasons that we're here. So uh, with that, uh, thank you behind us. I would like one more thank you and acknowledgement. Maria, will you join us, please? had a lot of packing here. Josh? This is one of our um, sort of ongoing traditions, is to acknowledge the important role that the host plays in organizing this meeting. Merit, of course, is the primary um, agency funding or dealing with the budgetary issues. But along this journey, together has been Maria and Josh and we at Merit just simply want to give them this presentation and acknowledgement of their work and help with this meeting. It simply says, if I can read it here, NANOG, Terramark Worldwide, Inc., in recognition and gratitude for hosting NANOG 45 January 25th through the 28th in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, presented by Merit Network, Inc., and we can't say thank you enough. So it took me about you know half an hour to put together my slides, and then I PDF'd it. It was a 30, 38 meg file because I just saved it as a PDF instead of printing it, and then it printed in reverse to really confuse things. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves so far. Um, we tried to make this really spectacular in this great country, and we're very, very, very proud to be here. Out of all the locations we had to choose, we you know Terramark does business all over the place, but we chose the Dominican Republic as the place we wanted to host, and and really worked hard to convince the steering committee, program committee, and merit that it was a good place to be. And we're very proud to be here. And thank you for allowing us to be in your country. It's really spectacular. Um, 
Jared Mark is actually hosting us with Nap del Caribe, which is our division in uh, the Dominican Republic, and we're partnered with many entities in this country. The goal was to build an internet exchange and actually keep it local. Instead of all the traffic in the world back calling up to Miami to be exchanged, we tried to keep things in the Caribbean and make it much easier for people to interconnect and to make this a hub of connectivity for the region because it's a large island with lots of undersea cables coming into it and lots of assets and, and power and infrastructure needed to make all this happen. So very, very exciting country for us. Um, whoops, I'd go up. Ah, there we go. So Nap del Caribe is actually located right down the road near the airport. It is a Category 5 hurricane-proof structure. Um, that's necessary here. They do get a hurricane or two every once in a while, just like Miami. So, But uh, it's quite an amazing facility, and it's a high-end data center. It's built to world-class standards like Nap of the Americas or any other facility that you're located in where you put your core infrastructure. So please, you're welcome to come visit it and see it. It's a very exciting facility for us. Um, the obligatory uh, network diagram. This was – there's a, some big thanks to Pete and Mike and uh, – and, um, Tony Capella for actually getting the network up and running. Everybody was working very hard yesterday. There were cards that had to be swapped, jumpers had to be switched, um, increasing the MTU to make sure the video feeds would work, and it was very difficult. We're actually doing microwave back to Orange, and then Orange is actually providing the STEM 16 back to Napa of the Americas to actually carry out to the world. Um, if it hiccups, that means you shouldn't be doing any bit torrent or any stuff like that. We blame you. We'll find you. But... Uh, <laughs> it, it, we do have a, some great connectivity, and we're very proud to get that up and running because it, it took a lot of work. Um, whoops, see, i got to go in reverse. So uh, special sponsors, Indotel, provided logistical and volunteer support, including the coordination with the security, security and customs, and that was critical. We had a very difficult time trying to get hardware in here. Just like any foreign country, you have to go through a customs service, but it was made very smooth by the government. It was spectacular. Thank you for that. Dr. Vargas, that was you? Thank you. It was a very big help. Without that, we, the hardware, all of the, everything that would have made this happen would be sitting in boxes at, at, any, at any of their airports. So the, it was very, very, really very special. Orange, uh, Division of France Telecom, I want to thank you for providing the connectivity. Spectacular. Uh, it's very generous and it's, it's expensive to provide connectivity and get staff working on Sundays and make all this happen. So that was, that was tremendous. And the Dominican Republic Export Investment Center, which is run by uh, Eddie, and uh, that was for sponsoring the party. I'm sure you guys all had an amazing time. Again, a big round of applause because that was just spectacular being in the... And this colonial district, the amount of history that we got to see there, these buildings built from coral, cut from not just the history of Columbus coming, but you have to remember this building, if you looked at closely, there was coral. It's built from coral rock from millions and millions of years ago. And as the sea level dropped, and we hope global warming doesn't make that rise again, because that wouldn't be good, but uh, as the sea level dropped, all this coral was there and able to use that stone to actually build these original structures. So it's millions of years of history. It's quite amazing. Um, thank you to the, the government of the Dominican Republic. Dr. Vargas, thank you very much. Truly appreciated. Um, Eddie Martinez, thank you so much. Um, and uh, uh, Ligia, I can't say all these names, Ligia Cardona, I can't do the full names. Um, she's not here right now, but I want to thank her Secretary of State for Higher Education, Science, and Technology, but she couldn't be here right now. Um, the biggest thank you of all, and I know Maria doesn't like me doing this, but <laughs> she's shaking her head. Um, guys, I really have to explain to you, sometimes there's that one person that makes a meeting happen, and it's from logistics, organization, relationships, and her friendships with everybody in the government, uh, with Mr. Nadal, and actually with Napdal Caribe, and actually, actually everything they make this happen. Maria was tremendous, and really, everybody, a big round of applause, because you would not be here without her. Now, guys, you know, this has never, ever, ever happened with a Nanog, a Ripe, an Apricot, or any other meeting. We're actually going to have a head of state, the president, His Excellency, President Leonel Fernandez, or Dr. Leonel Fernandez, I was told I have to say that, um, <laughs> is actually going to be here tomorrow. Now, there's some very special things that go along with that. We're actually at it, having a head of state. This is quite serious. We're actually going to have Secret Service here tomorrow morning. That means when you come in in the morning, Presidential Secret Service will be providing security. There will be metal detectors. You'll actually be going through all these metal detectors and actually coming in the meeting. Going in and out or having social time outside is not going to be quite as easy this time. It's very specific to this, this morning, and I appreciate your cooperation as we come in. Um, that means, you know, leave your automatic weapons at home, things like that. It shouldn't bring it into the meeting, you know. <laughs> we are geeks. We don't do that. So our, our, our weapons are our laptops, so it's safe. Just want to clear that up before that starts. Don't throw your laptops. That's what you should not do. <laughs> um, so please do be prepared for it. And also, it's critical that you wear your Nanog badges. It, you have a lot of difficulty trying to get in this meeting if you do not have your badges on tomorrow. So please don't forget. I know everybody wears them, but it's very important. Um, a couple other people. Uh, Alvaro Nadal, 
Uh, he, is, he is not related to Rafael Nadal. I just had to ask him that to make sure, although they do look the same. I asked that as well, the tennis player. Um, he's the president of Napta Karebe. Again, tremendous support, staffing to actually get it, make all this happen, do all the special wiring and everything else we needed. Uh, Carlos Bonilla, who's the uh, operations manager for Napta Karebe. Again, hours and hours of work getting network up, devoting his private time to make sure all of that could happen and getting all the power. I mean, look at this power that's actually tied up. It's like a data center into, into every single table. It's much different than we normally do. And Carlos Jansen, who's the facility manager. Um, all of that was tremendous. So uh, with that, we now uh, start the meeting. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate it. Dave Meyer to the front of the room, please. Paging Dave Meyer to the front of the room. Thank you very much.